Namaste everyone. Welcome to a travel yoga class that is designed to calm you down and stretch you out after you've been on the move, on your feet, exploring all day. So meet me, feet hip width apart at the front of the mat, shoulders down and back, chin parallel to the floor, eyes closed, and begin to focus on your breath. Inhaling, finding expansion underneath your collarbones. And exhaling, grounding down through your tired, sore feet. Inhale, lift through the crown of your head slowly, expanding the breath. And exhale, ground down, send your attention down through your feet. Inhaling slowly, completely. Exhaling fully, let it all go. A few more breaths, focusing on slowing down. Shoulders and heart open, eyes closed. Here, now begin to roll your shoulders forward, up, back and down a few times, opening the space between your collarbones in your heart space. Maybe four or five times and then switch direction. So bring your shoulders back up, forward and down another four or five times. From here, let your right ear fall towards your right shoulder, stretching along the left side of your neck. You and find some gentle movement, opening your left arm away from you to create a little resistance. And find a place that's juicy, feels good on the left side of your neck, no pain. You can also bring your right hand to sit on top of your head to create a little bit of extra weight and let gravity help you here, stretching the left neck shoulder area. Find a place that's juicy, feels good. A few more breaths, continuing to breathe slowly and completely. Slow down, let it feel good. Take your right hand and gently press your head back up to center before letting your left ear fall to the left side. Stretch your right hand a little bit away from you if this feels nice to create a deeper stretch in the right side of the neck. Find some gentle movement, bring your chin closer to your chest or open your chin a little bit up towards the ceiling. Just find a place that feels good for you. And if you would like, you can take your left hand to the top of your head to create a little extra gravity, a little extra pull on the right side of your neck. Lengthening the breath, slowing down, dropping into the sensations in the present moment. Take your left hand to your left temple and press your head back up before doing a few neck rolls here. Bring your chin to your chest, roll from one direction to the next. And if it feels nice, you can also allow your head to go all the way back to complete the circle. But if there's any pain in your neck, just do a neck U. So left ear to left shoulder, chin to chest, and then right ear to right shoulder. Inhale back to center. Ground down through the right foot, engage the quads, engage the glutes, and lift your left knee into your chest. Ankle rolls, first one direction and then the other. Then take your left foot to the inside of your right thigh or right calf, or all the way down to the floor, and open your left knee out in tree pose. 
You can take your hands to prayer or open your arms out or up, your choice. Focus on a drishti point. Press down strong through your right foot. Don't let your hip jut out here. Lengthen, lift, grow taller through the crown of your head. Inhale, bring your left knee back into your chest. And take your right hand to your right knee. And twist, look back over your left shoulder. If you are more experienced, you can also take your left foot in your right hand. An open twist, look over your left shoulder, work on your balance, ground down through that right foot and breathe. Release and step all the way back into high lunge. From here, gently lower your left knee onto the mat, low lunge, crescent, open your heart space, core engage, lengthen through your tailbone, power up through the back leg, high lunge and step forward back to the front of the mat to dasana. Onto the other side, ground down through that left leg, right knee into the chest, ankle rolls, first one way and then the other. And then take your right foot to the inside of your left thigh, calf or ankle, hands to prayer, and focus on the drishti point. Press down powerfully through that left foot. Notice the way the ground feels beneath you. Core engaged, lengthen the tailbone down towards the mat. Heart open, lift through the crown of the head. And if you want it to be a little more difficult, you can try to close your eyes. It's not my strong suit. But feel free to give it a shot and see how your balance does. A few long, slow breaths here. Inhale your right knee to your chest and yogi's choice if you want to hold on to the knee with the left hand or if you're more advanced grab the left, uh, right foot and straighten. Do your best and look back over your right shoulder. Hands reaching energetically away from each other. Work on your balance, core engaged. And exhale, release, and step it all the way back to high lunge before gently lowering the right knee to the mat, low lunge, baby back bend, crescent, heart open, heart expansion, lengthen the tailbone away from you, stretch the front of the hips. Now inhale back to center, power up through the back leg, and step back forward to Tadasana, the front of the mat. Inhale your arms down around and up. Exhale, press the air away. Open the shoulders. Inhale, reach, take up space. And exhale, press the air away slowly. Inhale, reach. Lengthening the inhales and exhale, press the air away. Inhale, reach. And exhale, flat back, forward fold. Feel free to bend your knees, wrap your hands above your head, wrap your arms above your head. Shake your head yes and no and allow your head to be heavy. Gently swaying left to right. Letting the upper back and lower back release. But keep your shoulders down and back. Don't let them crowd up by your ears. Just gently tune back into your breathing. And allow your body to relax. Release the right hand onto the mat. Bend the right knee and inhale. Reach the left arm up high above your head. Well, towards the ceiling, twist. Now reach up and over, exhale, plant the left palm and inhale the right arm up, bend through the left knee. Inhale here, exhale, reach up and over, plant both palms this time. Shake the head yes and no. And inhale, rounding through the back and roll all the way back up to standing. 
Arms down around and up and exhale Anjali Mudra, hands to prayer at heart center. Take your left or right foot back, it doesn't matter. Toes pointing just slightly in, clasp your hands behind you and inhale, open your heart. Exhale, forward fold with a clasp. Feel free to grab a towel or a belt if you can't quite reach your hands. Open up through the shoulders, look over your right shoulder and your left. Head heavy, shoulders away from you. Exhale, release, clasp. Take your hands to the mat. Bring your forearms to the mat if you reach that far. Or your hands to your ankles. Yogi's choice, wide-legged forward fold, whatever feels most comfortable to you. Take your head over towards your right knee. Hips stay in the same spot. And switch head over to the left, semi-twist. Getting a little deeper into both of those legs. Inhale back to center, half lift. Hand to the hips, pause here. And on your next inhale, come all the way back up to standing. Step back to the front of the mat. Feet wider than hip width apart this time. Toes facing out. Inhale your arms down, around, and up. And exhale, yogic squat. Malasana, hands to prayer at heart center. Use your elbows to press your knees away from you. Grab a blanket or two blocks here to stick under your heels if this is really difficult. Lifting your heels helps if you don't have very um, flexible ankles. Take your right hand to the outside of your right foot and inhale your left arm up, twist. Exhale back to center. Plant the palms and set the left leg back, knee to the mat, hands on the inside of the right foot. Lizard stretch. Lengthen your tailbone away from you. If you're able, you can come down onto your forearms, or if this is just a little bit too far away, you can grab blocks if you have them nearby, or a book or a pillow. And you can find a halfway point that still feels really good on your right hip and your left hip flexor. There should be no pain. Breathe into your left hip and your right hip. Both hips. Breathe into your hips. Inhale. Come back up onto your hands. If you desire, you can go a little bit deeper. You can go into splits. Yoga is choice. Coming back to the breath. Breathing into the spaces that feel sensation. Allowing your body to be heavy and let go. Inhale, come back onto your hands, flip the back toe under. Left hand to mat, right arm reaches down and back, bend the left knee, and do your best to grab your foot. Stretching through the left hip flexors is generally a very tight spot, especially if you've been traveling a lot. So kick your foot away from you, keep your hand held tight onto the foot, so don't actually let go of the foot, <laughs> and stretch. Inhale back to center, plant the palms, and step the left foot back up into yogic squat. Hips heavy, tailbone towards the floor, heart open, hands to prayer. Exhale the left hand out on the outside left foot, and inhale your right arm up. Twist, hip opener, shoulder opener. Exhale, release, plant the palms, and this time step the right foot back, Gently bring the knee to the mat and set yourself up for lizard pose. Start easy. We can move deeper into the pose as we go. If you can bring your forearms to the mat, do so. If not, stay where the stretch feels the best to you. Breathing into your hips, tailbone lengthening away from you. Finding the juicy good spot. Sending your energy and your attention into the places that feel sensation and consciously letting go. 
plant the palms now. Take the right hand to the mat, left arm reaches back and around. Bend the right foot and bring it into your hand if you're able or grab a belt or something that will help you bring your foot to you. Open through the left shoulder. Press down through that right hip flexor. Kick the foot away from you energetically. You keep hold of the foot, don't let it go. A twist and a hip opener all in one. Very juicy, very sensational. Plant the palms. Step your right foot back up to the front. Malasana Yogi Squat. Now exhale, plant both palms and step both feet back, this time to downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide, shoulders down and back, hips high as they can go, flat back. Bend one knee and then the other, walk it out. Inhale the right leg up, open the hip, let the right foot fall behind you, knee high. And stay here. Or set the right foot behind you and open your hips and your heart in wild thing. Exhale, release, come back to the other side of your body. Take the right, <laughs> take the right foot forward and set yourself up for pigeon. You can always do this on your back in figure four pose. But if you're on your front this way, Make sure that your hips are equidistant from the mat. Press down through the left hip. Press down through the back, or the top rather, of the left foot. Walk forward with an open heart and breathe into your hips. When we're traveling, especially when we're traveling, our hips tend to be very tight. We're in cars or in trains or in planes for a long period of time and then when we're exploring, we're walking a lot, our legs get tired. And our hips are just an excellent way to release all of that tension, all of the stress of being in a foreign place or on the move. Just breathe into the right hip, send your love and attention there. Focus on your breath. Focus on your energy, sending your energy into your body, and release. As you're ready, inhale, walk your hands back in towards your body. Flip the left toe under and hop back up into one-legged downward facing dog. A few knee or foot rolls to open up that hip. Step it down and then inhale, left leg up. Open the hip, let the foot fall knee high. And stay here or you can allow the left foot to come to the mat Open your hips and heart in wild thing, back bend. Inhale, come back to the other side, both hands on the mat and set yourself up for pigeon on the left side. Inhale, heart open, press through the right foot and exhale, walk your hands forward to rest in pigeon. If you need to stay up on your hands, absolutely do so. There should be no pain in your hip or your knees. Come into a position that feels the best for you, where you get the best stretch. You can feel it in your hips. Another good idea is to grab a blanket and put that underneath your left butt cheek in this, in this situation. Um, your left butt cheek and outer thigh if you feel like you're really up high in the air and your hip is not releasing. Ground down through the right hip and breathe, sending your love and attention into the hip joint, slowing down the breath. 
Inhaling deeply. And exhaling completely. Inhale, walk the hands back in. Flip the right toe under and hop back up into three-legged dog. A few knee and leg circles here to open up that hip. Come back to downward facing dog and gently bring your knees to the mat, toes under. Double check that all 10 toes are on the mat or as close as they can be and come to sit on your heels. Now this might be an incredibly um, sensitive stretch. If you need to be lifted a little higher, do so. Come to sit on your heels, core engaged, eyes closed, hands to prayer at heart center, and stretch through the arches of the feet. An often neglected area of the body or especially after day of exploring, it might be a little bit sore. Your arches of your feet might be a little sore and they need a little bit of extra loving today. So breathe through the sensations that arise. Breathe into the arches of your feet. Toes down, shoulders down and back. Lengthening, lengthening through the crown of your head. You can keep your hands in prayer or you can face both palms in towards your heart space. Inhaling love through your heart space and exhaling muddy water or negative thoughts or any kind of negativity. Inhaling love and light and positivity and exhaling all negativity. Now, plant your palms and bring your legs around to the right to meet soles together, knees apart, in cobbler's pose, Baddha Konasana. Inhale, heart open, flat back, and exhale, fold with a flat back. Now here, I highly recommend giving yourself a little bit of a foot massage. After a long day of walking, it can feel so nice to just give your feet a little bit of extra loving. And if you don't have a friend or partner that can do this for you, Oftentimes we don't do this for ourselves, so it's great to just dig right in there, love your feet, give your body some self-loving. Inhale, come back up. Take your left leg out in front of you, right foot into your thigh. Inhale, flat back reach, and exhale, fold. Janu Shasana. Head to knee pose. Flex the left foot back towards your face. If you can't reach your foot, just grab onto your calf or grab a belt if you have one. Let your head be heavy. back up. Now scoot your body so that your left foot is facing out to the side, not directly in front of you. And then turn your heart space over to bend in a forward fold over the left leg whilst keeping your right knee out to the side. So it's a modified Janu Shirsasana. Now bring your left elbow down towards the mat and reach up and over towards your left foot with your right hand. So side, a side bend. Feeling the stretch through the right side body. Exhale, release. Take the right foot out to meet the left. Inhale, flat back reach and exhale, forward fold both legs this time. If you can't reach your feet, like I said, grab a belt or just grab onto your calves or shins, your shins, your thighs, however far you can go. Flex the feet back towards you and keep a flat back here.
exhale release come back up to seated bring your left foot to the inside of your right thigh inhale reach and exhale Janu Shirsasana bending forward just over the right leg this time you should be able to feel the stretch in the left side body and the left back body maybe a little bit in the hip as well exhale release and now maneuver yourself so that the right foot comes out almost in a half wide legged forward fold left foot stays in the thigh and reach your whole body over that right foot so we're just changing the angle so you're getting it the stretch more in your side rather than your back body exhale release and take your right elbow down towards the mat reaching up and over with your left hand left side body stretch in the direction of those right toes if you can grab the toes excellent if not no big deal as long as you can feel the stretch in your left side body inhale coming back up exhale take both feet to the mat knees bent and roll yourself down onto your back walk your feet in towards your bum hip, hip width apart and inhale press your hips high bridge pose you can shimmy your shoulders up underneath your heart space clasp underneath your body if you can if not just dig your elbows into the mat exhale roll down vertebra one vertebra at a time right knee into the chest to find twist Release, switching sides, left knee into the chest, supine twist. And release. Take both legs long, feet falling to the side. Shimmy your shoulders up underneath your heart space, shoulders open, palms open, eyes closed. And release for our final relaxation. Inhaling love and light and exhaling negativity and murky water in Shavasana. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're traveling, I hope you're having a wonderful time. And if you're not, I also hope you're having a wonderful time. Stay in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. Namaste.